On the 1st of January 1901, Australians celebrated Federation, the birth of our new nation. But the history of this continent dates back to well before Federation. For over 60,000 years, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples have lived on the Australian continent and practiced traditional cultures, languages and systems of government. From the late 1700s, British colonies were founded on the continent. These six separate British colonies operated like six different countries. Each one had a parliament to make laws and their own defence force. They all charged different taxes and tax goods brought in from the other colonies. There were different postal and railway systems which made communication and travel across the continent very difficult. However, each colony was still under the authority of the British Parliament. The people living in these colonies began to identify themselves as Australians and started to think that the colonies would work better if they united as a nation. They felt a national government should look after things like defence, trade, immigration and foreign policy. During the 1890s, representatives from each colony met to create a set of rules for how this new nation would work. These rules would become the Australian Constitution. In 1899 and 1900, eligible voters in each colony participated in referendums. The eligibility to vote varied from colony to colony, and many groups, including women and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, were excluded. The referendums were passed in each colony. It was the first time in history that a group of people voted to create a new nation. As the colonies were still under the lawmaking power of Britain, they needed approval from the British Parliament before they could unite. In July 1900, the British Parliament passed a law, the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act. The six colonies became the six states of Australia and a federal parliament was created. This is known as Federation. On the 1st of January 1901, 100,000 people gathered in Centennial Park in Sydney to watch Queen Victoria's representative, the Governor-General Lord Hopeton, proclaim the Commonwealth of Australia. The crowd cheered as Edmund Barton was sworn in as Australia's first Prime Minister. Federation was celebrated across Australia with parades, street parties, picnics and fireworks. On the 9th of May 1901, the first Federal Parliament was opened in a ceremony at the Exhibition Building in Melbourne. For the next 26 years, Federal Parliament met in Victoria's Parliament House. In 1927, it moved to the new Australian capital, Canberra. To this day, the Australian Constitution provides the basic rules for governing Australia.